Hi, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database tour of the Opposing Viewpoints database. This is the launching point for a lot of people when they start their research, especially if they don't have a very defined idea of what their topic might be. Um, it's a good place to explore. The way you get to the library from the college homepage is either to mouse over student support and click on library, click on student support, scroll down to academics, and click on library, or type it in directly, smc.edu slash library, and that will take you to our page. From there, if you need assistance, you can ask a librarian directly or ask us using this pop-out. This is a 24-7 service, so if you contact us during a time when the SMC library is open, you will talk to SMC librarians. If you talk to us during a time when we're closed, you'll talk to a college or university librarian from one of the other institutions. We're all part of this big international consortium, so you'll always be talking to a librarian. So today we're going to go into the Opposing Viewpoints database. In order to get there, click on the Databases button, and once you're at this landing page, you have some options. If you want to, you can search by subject. Say, I need to do a health sciences paper. You can search by database type. My instructor told me I need to use scholarly journal articles. Keep in mind that both of these limit what you're getting to. So if you have a database that includes health sciences and history, it won't be listed under just one topic. Or if you have a database that includes book chapters and journal articles and magazines and newspapers and blogs, it's not going to be listed under just newspapers. So be very careful when you're using these limiters that you don't accidentally miss the databases you're looking for. If you're going for a specific database and you know the title and you know how to spell it, you can search for it directly. If you're not sure how to spell it, you can just use the first letter of that database title to get you to that database. So today we're looking at opposing viewpoints in context. This database speaks on topics of interest to the American people, and it's a good place to go when you're starting. It's not a one-stop shop. You don't do all of your research here, but it gives you a good variety of things to start off with. If you're unsure what you want to write about and scroll down a little, it's grouped by broad topic. Business, environmentalism, health, science, law, society, war and diplomacy, and national debate topics. And these are used in high schools, but also have very interesting topics if you're just wondering what people are talking about right now. So say, for example, um, I'm interested in society and culture. I can click on that and it will bring up all of the various topics that it has reports on, including ones that are new and ones that are updated. So I can scroll through until I find one that looks interesting. Income inequality is an interesting one that has just been updated. And when you click on that topic, it will give you a description of the topic. And if you're unsure what exactly the topic is, you can read more, and it will tell you a lot about it, including the main ideas of that topic, some of the things behind it, some context, some background, some things to think about, and it will give you links to related topics, related articles, what they're about, and related subjects. So by going through this, it will help you get an idea of the things that this broad topic covers and to help you to narrow it down should you wish to do so. If you're at the previous page, after you've read this and you decide this looks like a really interesting topic, what does it have on it? Viewpoints are pro-con arguments. It also includes journals, magazines, reference works, statistics, infographics, audios, websites, all sorts of information. So there's a lot of things. And you can dive into that by either scrolling through and seeing what it offers, or by searching within these. Say I'm interested for how this is applied to California. And that cuts it down to two pro cons, 42 academic journal articles. 254 news articles. Viewpoints, in general, 35. So there are actually 35 pro con, two that are really specific to this topic. And some reference works, things like dictionaries, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. 
Then I can drive into it and see what I find. Once I click on one of these pro-con arguments, it will tell you what is in the article with a short um, overview of it, some questions to think about as you're reading it, which really helps when you try to decide what you want to write about, and then the content of the article. At the bottom, it allows you to ask for a citation. If you use the citation, please make sure that you fix it when you put it into your um, paper or your essay or your presentation because this is a robot's attempt and it may or may not be completely correct. It will uh, give you other options, articles that are related to this and subjects that are related to this. So that's a way to expand your search without having to redo your search. As you can see, this is a very rich database. Once you see something that you like, if you want to use it, you can cite it as we saw at the bottom. You can email it to yourself, download it, print it, get a permalink. You can also make notes on it. So if I decide I want to send it to myself, I can email it, I can send it to my OneDrive or to my Google Drive. So you have options once you go in here. You can also search in general from the very first page. So say I'm looking for um, earthquakes and survivors. Does it have anything on that? Well, yes. It has journals and videos and pro-con arguments and news articles. So you can either go in through its topic listing or you can go in through keywords that are of interest to you. So this is a very useful and very flexible database. If you have any questions at any time with it, you can always ask a librarian and we will assist you with it. Good luck with your research and take care.